Attorney representing the Austin police officer involved in the city's latest fatal shooting says so someone leaked confidential information from the officer's interview with Internal Affairs to a reporter. KXAN was there as that attorney, Nad attorney Nadia Stewart filed a verbal complaint with the police monitor's office. Robert Maxwell has the story. Coming to file a complaint with you. Okay, why don't you come on in? Police monitor Marco Fraser spent 10 minutes listening to Nadia Stewart. Afterward, a short walk down the hall to Internal Affairs revealed no one there Friday afternoon to also take the complaint. We are going to go and speak to labor relations to discuss our concerns as well. This attorney from the association that represents Texas law enforcement officers says it's disappointing someone shared information from what's supposed to be a confidential discussion. Detective Charles Kleinert's formal interview about the shooting with Internal Affairs. We're asking for an investigation into the breach of confidentiality. There were seven people in the room, three Internal Affairs employees, Subject Officer Kleinert, his attorney Stewart, and two from the police monitor's office, including Margot Frazier. I just want to be clear, I am not the source. About 15 hours after that meeting ended, both Stewart and Frazier got a call from a reporter who had exact words and phrases from that meeting. I think it has the potential for undermining um, the faith of officers uh, in the process. Internal affairs meetings are tape recorded. Those are later turned into a transcript. The subject officer can check for accuracy. That document is then used as a key tool for the subsequent inquiry. And we want to make it clear that Detective Kleiner um, intends to cooperate with the investigation once uh, it is determined where this leak is coming from. And the system is designed to keep inquiries and the findings separate so an officer won't self-incriminate. Margot Fraser says the leak of Detective Kleiner's statement also has the potential to taint the parallel criminal investigation by the Special Investigations Unit, as well as any grand jury indictment. Bottom line, Cleet attorneys say restoring the integrity of the shooting investigation likely rests on an outside agency like the Texas Rangers or DA's office. In the Our studio, Robert Maxwell, KXAN News. Robert, thank you. We have also learned more information could be revealed from Friday's police shooting. Police say they have finally located this man. They believe he witnessed some of the events that led to the police shooting underneath the Shoal Creek Bridge. APD tells us they have interviewed him, but they are not releasing any other details right now. APD also says part of the ongoing investigation is focused on whether Kleinert's weapon discharged intentionally or accidentally.